Today I want to show you how you can uh, use Kurzweil 3000 to create flashcards. So I just have a two page document in here that I've scanned in about the earth and if we scroll down a little bit you can see there's the title, the shape and then I go to page two we have the mass or weight and one more title down here for the layers. So I'm going to go back to page number one. Now if this isn't displayed, I just want to make sure that I click and display the study skills toolbar. I'm going to go to tools and options. What I want to do is I want to click on the highlighter and give my highlighters names. That way when I'm doing this later on, I'll remember which one's the main idea, which one is the supporting details. So I'm going to type main ideas under the yellow caption and the green is going to be details. Okay. And then I'm just going to click OK at this point. Now the nice thing is when I put my mouse on the highlighter it shows me that I've renamed it to main idea so I'm going to click that I'm going to highlight the titles I'm going to do that on both pages okay so my main ideas are that yellow highlighter again down to this one yellow highlighter okay go back to page one now for the details for this example I'm just going to do a few things just so that you can see how it works but one is one of nine planets so you know this is just a little bit old <laughs> the third closest planet to the Sun and the right distance from the Sun for evolution of life okay scroll down a bit appears to be perfectly round in shape it's not okay it is flatter at the poles and then it's determined by both gravity and centrifugal force now after that I notice that I have a definition for the word gravity so back to yellow main idea and then the definition pulls everything towards the center of the earth the next one centrifugal force again there's a definition so yellow for the word and green for the definition moves things away from the center of the earth okay I'll go to page and for, for this example um, I'm not going to do page two for the rest of it okay so just to show you this should give you enough of an idea anyway so what I want to do at this point is I want to extract all the highlights and then take them into PowerPoint and create flashcards so I'm going to extract highlights and then I make sure it highlights now my main idea is I want the indent to be zero and the details to be half an inch so the green part will be indented a bit it'll be much easier for me to look and see what's the main idea and what's the details that go with it so I'm going to click OK Okay, and actually I'm going to cancel that because you can see it left all the blank lines and I don't want that so the nice thing about Kurzweil is you can just easily do it again extract notes Okay, insert the blank lines. I'm going to say get rid of that. I don't need a prefix, nothing like that. So I don't want it to say A or number one or anything like that. And I'm going to click OK. And now if you look, my list is much, much cleaner. Okay. So the page two stuff for this exercise, I'm just going to erase it. So backspace. Okay, get rid of that. And then at the top, I don't need page one either. So before I bring it into PowerPoint, I'm just getting rid of some of the extra things, whatever I can. It just saves me some work later. Um, now I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to put it on my desktop so I can find it easily. And I'm going to call it Flash Cards. Okay? So I'm going to save that. Close this little file. Okay? Now I'm just going to start PowerPoint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the information that I highlighted and uh, bring it up in Kurzweil. I mean, sorry, in PowerPoint. So I want to start a new document. Okay, just have a blank one. And then I'm going to, from new slide, select slides from outline. And remember, I have to know where I put that file. That's why I put it on my desktop. So I can go to desktop and I call it flashcard. There it is. You notice it's an RTF file. I insert that. Now on the left side of my screen, you can see that each point came in as a separate slide. In order to create flashcards, what I need to do is I need to have the earth on slide one and then all of the information. So I need three points on the second slide. You can see on the left side here, slide three, four, and five. They're basically, I'm going to push those up together. So here's what I do. I'm going to click over here and put it in outline mode. That way I can read it a little easier. Okay? Slide one is empty, so I'm going to click on it and delete it. Now, slide one is says the Earth. What I could do is make up a question. What are three characteristics about the Earth? 
question mark at the end. Remember, you can put graphics in here. You can do all of that kind of stuff because PowerPoint is PowerPoint. And then I'm going to go to slide two. And what I want to do is I want to make these words, one of nine planets, go into this box over here. So there's, I could copy and paste, you know, I could do that kind of stuff. But here's, here's what I would do, okay, is I would click again after three characteristics of the earth. I'm using the left side only over here and I'm going to press enter. What it does is make a new slide. You can see slide two over here is empty. So now I go to slide three. In order to create a bullet on slide two, all I do is on the left side of the screen, I press the tab key once. Do you see how it puts that back up in slide two? I do the same thing here, third closest planet. That also needs to be on slide two. Click over here, press tab one more time, and now I have what are the characteristics about the earth on slide one, and I have the three points, the answers on slide two. On slide three, again, I can create a question. Uh, what is the shape of the earth? Okay. And then again, I'm going to go to the end. I'm always working on the left side. I'm going to press enter, and you can see that it creates an empty slide four. And all the points that need to be slide four, I just click, tab, click, tab, click, and tab. Okay. For slide five and six, they look good. There's only one point for each, so it doesn't, doesn't need to be changed. I'm just going to put a question. Define gravity. Okay. And of course, the next one is the answer. Again, if you wanted to put it down in the bullet, you could. It's the same thing. I press enter. I go to the pulls everything, and I just press the tab key. Okay. So if you want to do that, there's no, no problem. And define centrifugal force. I'll do the same thing. Press tab. I mean, sorry, enter that point. And then I go to number nine. I press tab. I should have an even number of slides. The front of the slide is number one, and the back of the slide is number two. Three is the front, four is the back, etc. So now I should end up right at this point, I have eight slides, which is fine. When you want to print the slides, what you're going to have to do is go to the print menu. You can't just click the printer button, otherwise, you'll get one huge flashcard. <laughs> And what you want to do is down here, instead of slides, you're going to pick handouts. And we're going to have six per page. Now, to show you how this works, since you won't be able to see it if I print it on an actual printer, I'm going to print it to a PDF file. Okay. Um, and for this one, I put color. You don't have to. You can put black and white, you know, that kind of thing. It depends on what kind of printer that you have. So because I'm printing to a PDF file, it's going to ask me for a name. Again, I'm going to go on the desktop and I'm going to call it flash cards. Okay. So now if I start up Adobe PDF, just to show you what it would look like if, it, if I actually decided to print it. Okay. And I'm going to go to open, go to my desktop, find my file, flash cards, and there it is. Slide one and two, three and four, and five and six. Okay. All I would have to do now is cut underneath these slides right here, fold it in two, and there are my flashcards. Hope you enjoyed the tip.